All right, good morning. It's Saturday, February the 3rd, and I'm wrapping up the road walk slash bike path slash sidewalk section of this trip here and um, entering a place called uh, Seminole State Forest at the Bear Pond Trailhead here. So I had a great stay last night at the La Quinta Inn, got some much needed uh, calories and got cleaned up a little bit here. So looks like today's gonna be a beautiful day, high of uh, like 71. So it's starting to warm up here pretty good. And um, it looks like rain is gonna come in by morning and tomorrow looks like pretty much a rainy day. So we'll see. Uh, what that all brings, but uh, we'll deal with it. All right, back in a bit. Yeah, beautiful trail since getting uh, off the road there. So um, we'll be entering the Ocala National Forest, uh, I believe tomorrow, late today or early tomorrow. And uh, I guess there's a high bear population really throughout all this area. And in Ocala National Forest, you have to either hang your food or um, have a bear can canister. So we'll see. Uh, if I follow the rules, I'm going to lose my pillow. So we'll see how that goes here. But uh, turning out to be a beautiful day. Back later. Check this out. Like an Appalachian Trail type shelter here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Would love to hit this uh, tonight with that rain forecast <laughs> coming in in the morning, but or better yet, even tomorrow night. But no such luck. But pretty cool. Yeah, the trail has been super cruisy through here. I'm making legit like three and a half miles an hour. And my feet are still dry, believe it or not. <laughs> the first day in a while that I've hiked this long with dry feet. So, feels pretty good. Probably just jinxed myself, but we'll see. Well, I've reached where I was gonna camp and it's 2.45. Sawgrass Mill campsite. So, just been making way too good a time hiking today to stop hiking at 2:45. So, going to keep on a pushing here. Um, there's another campsite in around six miles, and it's actually a car campsite. And I met another hiker, and he and I called ahead, and we're going to split a spot there. And you can actually. Uh, either walk to a pizza place or I think they delivered to the campground too. So that's the plan tonight. A little bit of a change, but uh, way too early to camp, especially it's pretty hot today. It's in the seventies. The sun is beating down. Can't imagine setting my tent up at uh, before three o'clock here. So got to keep on a moving. How can you not love this trail? Check this out. Oranges for the taking, right off the trail, and I will help myself to a couple. All right, right here is the birthplace of the Florida Trail. If you want to read it, you can pause that and read it. All right, ramping up today, about 27 miles, and check this out. I'm in a regular type campground, so this is a little different, but... Uh, should be pretty cool. So that's it. I'm going to go to the pizza shop in a little bit. I guess it's under a mile walk, but you know, I don't feel like walking anymore, but for a pizza, I'll probably find the energy. So anyway, back in the morning. Yeah, probably a new level of craziness here. I have my pizza and I'm walking through bear country with a full pizza. I'm on my way back to camp, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, good morning. It's Sunday, February 4th. It's about uh, 6.45. Just getting on the trail here, leaving the campground. Got about a quarter mile on this road before I get back to the trail, but uh, 
great night there last night. So it was warm last night and uh, got really lucky. The rain has not come in yet. It's it was supposed to start raining by 6 a.m. So I was really happy this morning to get up and uh, get everything packed up before the rain started. So we'll see how long it holds off for. But uh, yeah, so far it's, it's sprinkled just a little bit about four or five in the morning. But uh, not, no rain yet, so hopefully it's not too bad today, but we'll see what it brings. Um, not really sure what the plan is today, <laughs> other than walking. <laughs> uh, Juniper Springs, it's called, is uh, 27 miles away. And um, probably won't make it there today if it's raining as much as they say. I'm sure that's going to slow me down. And then there's a place called Alexandria Springs in like... 10 or 12 miles so which i'll probably end up just walking on right on past that there is camping around 20 which will probably be my goal today so we'll see uh see what happens here but uh back later oh yeah and the pizza was great last night i got back to camp with a medium pizza with uh loads of stuff on it for myself and uh i ate everything but two slices so i have two slices already for my lunch today which will be perfect if it is raining i won't have to get anything out i've got that in the back of my pack i can just grab it and eat it snacks in my pocket so if it is raining all day like it's supposed to i won't have to open my pack till camp tonight that's my plan here so anyway here's the trailhead back at it well it's about 9 a.m and uh I've been getting super lucky on the rain, only sprinkles so far, so it's going to get me, I know, but uh, <laughs> it's like a 100% chance at 11 a.m., so eventually it's going to get me here, but uh, so far, it's been great. Trail's been great. Look, they're even giving us a boardwalk to keep our feet dry, and uh, just been cruisy trail again, really taking up where yesterday left off, so it's been nice. We'll see what... Uh, See what this rain brings in a little bit all right well the rain did find me it's not terrible but uh i reached this little parking area with a roof over my head so i'm going to sit down here and have lunch it's a little bit early it's only 11 30 but i figured i might as well eat while i'm under some shelter here so anyway it's going good i think i am gonna go a little bit further today and try to get to the juniper springs campground because i've already got uh I, I don't know, 12 miles probably, maybe a little bit more. So probably gonna try to get that today. So anyway, back later. But the trail's been following this lake for a while. Pretty cool. Last couple days, we started getting some ups and downs in the trail too. So nothing major, of course, but uh, a big change from just the flat of south central florida we're definitely getting some rolly hills right now which is good it's fun and look the deer moss is back haven't seen that since up in north florida pretty neat all right i'm uh about 25 and change in so i got right at about two miles to go um to where i'm staying here and it's been all great trail all day today so and uh i'm trying to think I, I don't think i saw a single person hiking today so pretty crazy a few cars at a couple of road crossings but no people <laughs> and it's a sunday so but anyway ocala's been great so far i'm seeing a lot of bear sign in here though so they do say there are a lot of bears around here and it appears to be true but uh anyway back at camp in a little bit juniper prairie wilderness all right here's home for tonight i got my own picnic table and i've got my own bear box over here now i want you to look in this bear box a large pizza and a salad i just had delivered I'm putting it in here for safekeeping while I set up my uh, tent and everything because I'm told that uh, 
I'm told that the raccoons and the squirrels are pretty bad around here. Don't turn your uh, back on your food for a minute, it said. So I'm being safe with my large pizza. So anyway, back in the morning. Well, I think I got my tent set up just in time. Haven't even eaten my pizza yet. All right, good morning. Monday, February the 5th. A uh, little bit later start on the trail this morning. It's almost 8 o'clock, about a quarter till, I think. But uh, when I got up this morning, a little before 6, I looked at my phone, and there's like a 100% chance of rain at 7. And I could hear thunder, so I'm like, oh boy, I might as well just lay here in the tent, relax a little bit, and uh, let this rain pass by. And, of course, it never did rain, so I waited <laughs> till like 7, it wasn't raining, so I started packing up, and still not rain, but I do hear thunder in the background a little bit, and we might get it here yet, looking at the radar, but it's sort of spotty. But uh, anyway, yeah, last night was kind of a fiasco. As soon as I got my tent set up, before I could even eat, a huge thunderstorm came in and just drenched everything. And uh, I had set my tent up in the it was a regular campground, so like the designated like little tent spot there. And uh, like after that thunderstorm, there was like three inches of water in that spot. Which my tent did great keeping the water out. The Dyneema floor, it was like sitting in water and it wasn't coming through the floor. But went ahead and moved my tent anyway. So I had to deal with all that before I could even eat my dinner. So, But I had that pizza and it was excellent. And I have a little bit for lunch. And I never did get to eat my salad last night. So I had that for breakfast. So great start to the day. But uh, anyway... Uh, no idea what's in store today, just take it as it comes here. So we'll see, I'll be back later. I'm gonna be walking through this area of sinkholes and looks like this is the first one. I don't know how this shows up on video, but looks like the whole area has dropped like maybe 20 feet from up here, so interesting. Pretty neat spot here. Pretty neat. It's called Hidden Ponds. Yeah, just some really cool scenery through here. <laughs> really unlike anything else we've hiked through. It's pretty neat. You got these sinkholes that turn into little ponds and that's what this whole thing might be right here just a bit of a sinkhole that sank down and became a wet marshy area but pretty neat stuff yeah it's about uh, one o'clock here and uh it's a beautiful walk i was really taking it easy today with that later start and everything thought well if i get a few plus miles today it's not the end of the world but didn't even check my mileage till lunch and couldn't believe it, but I had done 16 miles at lunch, about 12.30 stopped. And uh, so I averaged over three and a half miles an hour for all of this morning. I thought I was taking it kind of easy. So, so um, with that said, I'm looking at, uh, there's a place called uh, 88 store, I believe it's called. Um, it has a not a lot of resupply, uh, more like a bar place, but I guess they do sell Gatorade and things like that, along with uh, some snacks. So, uh, and they let you camp out back and have a shower. So, I'm going to stop there and see what that looks like. And that's probably where I'll stay tonight. Unless I don't like the vibe, I'll uh, move on. But uh, that's what I'm sort of planning. That would be 25 miles today, which. Another decent day here, but anyway, um, I'll be back later. The trail in Ocala National Forest has been just amazing the whole time that I've been in here. So really ever since leaving that bicycle pass slash road walk at Lake Mary, I mean, the trail's just been great. 
So super uh, cool section and hasn't been any road walking, just all trail and it's been all nice. Very cool. All right, uh, 25 miles in for the day and uh, less than a quarter of a mile to that 88 store it's called and um, could be staying there, I'm not sure. So see what it's all about, but it's about quarter to four right now. So if I don't feel like staying there, I'll probably charge my phone and battery pack for about an hour or so, and then just do a little bit more to get back out somewhere to camp. So back later. Well, good morning. It's Tuesday, February 6th. And this is where I stayed last night, the 88 store and pub. I uh, camped out back behind here. Uh, it's a little before seven, just getting packed up here and getting ready to go. So back in a bit here. Yeah, it is legitimately cold this morning. It's about 44 degrees and a, a uh, strong north wind. So when that hits you, it is cold. But uh, just gonna hike myself warm here. Got on the trail about 7.15. Uh, I, you know, the stay at the 88 store was okay. I, I wouldn't have recommended it if it uh, didn't hit me right at 25 miles. Um, I would not have stayed there. I just didn't really feel like hiking on anymore, but it was okay. $10 for a place to pitch your tent, a shower and laundry if you wanted to do that. So price is right. And they do have a few things you can buy to eat for hikers, but it's basically a bar. And, uh, you know, it was open until at least midnight or so you could hear people in there. So, but there were six other hikers camped there. So it was fine, but, uh, you know, not great, but okay. So anyway, I'm not sure, uh, what the plan is today here. I'm just going to hike for a while and get out the map and see where I might end up tonight. So back later. Come on, son. Get up here and warm us up. Yeah, it's been more beautiful trails, so uh, it is supposed to be a high of 64 and sunny today, so it's really not gonna be that bad uh, after it warms up here. So it's still a little cool, but 64 and sunny for hiking is pretty good weather. So um, yeah, the trail's just uh, been just more great trail here. So anyway, back later. Well, I got uh, another section here where they've done a prescribed burn and uh, this trail was actually closed. There's a sign across that said it was closed, but I couldn't see on my maps um, how to get around it. So, um, and there were no instructions. So I'm just gonna try and walk through this. Hopefully I can get away with it. So anyway, we'll see, but uh, See if I make it through here without getting in trouble from the sheriff <laughs> or the park ranger, I guess. We'll see here. Back later. Well, I made it through the burn area with no issues. Been back in these longleaf pines for the last couple of days, and uh, the small ones are really cool. <laughs> Just pretty neat. Well, we're coming up on Lake Rodman, I believe. It's a good sized lake. And that wind is still howling right into us. So check this out. Pretty cool lake. All right, it's about uh, one o'clock. I got, I think, about 16 or 17 miles in for the day. And for the next four miles, I'm gonna be on this levee overlooking this canal here. So, pretty neat. There's actually a, it's like a path closer to the canal. The trail's got us up here, so. 
but at least we're out of the wind with these trees. The wind was getting really crazy around that lake, so it's helping out. It's a little bit better now. Back later. It's a long way up there. Well, I haven't had to get my feet wet in days, but that's coming to a screeching halt here. Seems like old times, doesn't it? Man, I so thought I was done with this. But, I guess not. Yep, this is what I mean by awful trail. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than this. This stuff's been knee deep at times. All right, it's about 3.30. And I've got around 23 miles in right now. So, I was really setting my sights on a big day trying to get to this oak hammock shelter, which is 31 mile day. And I was making great time towards that toy. Hit the trail here, that's not so good. Went from three plus mile an hour down to two mile an hour here for the last couple miles. So we'll see if this continues or not. Um, I haven't given up on my goal yet, but We'll see uh, what the future holds here. Back later. All right, it's 4.40 p.m. I've got 3.6 miles to go for the 30 one mile day. So I'm pretty much committed to it now. <laughs> I think I, I've had a lot of water to walk through and I think I have some more coming up because just looking at some of the comments and said there's some wet mucky sections between here and there so but i should be good getting in there by dark hopefully well it's starting to get dark but i have less than a mile to go so we're gonna make it so that's crazy the landscape has just turned from those rolling pine forests that we had for the last couple days so we're back in the swamp basically so pretty crazy back later All right, here's the Oak Hammock Shelter. This is what I uh, hiked 31 miles to get to. So there's some other people here. So, but uh, it's got like a downstairs screen area and an upstairs sleeping loft. But my uh, tent is set up on the other side of the shelter over there. But there's a couple people sh sleeping in it and a few other people in tents on the other side. But uh, anyway, back in the morning. All right, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, April 7th. So, we've got uh, maybe a mile or so of trail today. And then I uh, got a little bit of a road walk here coming up. I think it's around, I don't know, five, six miles, something like that on the road, and then more trail. So, had to put on wet socks this morning, and it's probably about 38 degrees. So, I got to get moving quick here to warm up. It's a pretty cold morning. So, but good night's sleep there last night. Uh, all's good and uh, see what today brings here. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. Uh, sunny, like 65 and hopefully the wind's not howling like it was yesterday. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be. So, um, so it should be a nice day. So anyway, back later. I didn't even realize it till somebody told me at camp last night, but we're out of Ocala National Forest. So. Maybe that explains why the trail got so bad yesterday late. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my plan is here. I've got about 50 miles to go to Route 301. And uh, that's, I'm gonna jump off trail there for a little bit. So that'll be, hopefully get there Thursday late. I'm gonna rent a car in Gainesville and drive back uh, home for a few days. So that's my plan here. We'll see how it works out. Well, this isn't too bad. Uh, the road's over there. I'm on a bike path, so <laughs> I was actually expecting road. So I'll take this any day. Well, after the bike path, I get some sand road. I'll be on this for a few miles.
turkeys running over there. Yeah, you know, finished the uh, road and back on trail about 10.30 and following this lovely little creek here. So pretty cool spot. Oh, check out this drop off. Pretty crazy for Florida. I don't know if that shows up on video or not, but it must be, I don't know, 50, 60 feet down there. Yeah, I just came to another shelter on the trail. These are pretty cool because they screen them in, so kind of like an AT shelter a little bit, but screen it. We got a sleeping platform there and log book. Bench out here. Pretty cool. If I had enough water, I'd just stop here for lunch. It's about 11.30, but uh, I don't have any water, so I'm going to keep going here a little bit. So, back later. Well, it's just been a beautiful stretch of trail here this afternoon. So, ever since we got off that little bit of a road this morning, the trail's been just great. So, I think I do, in a couple more miles, have a little bit more on a road today, but I think it's country road, so it shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, going good, it's about two o'clock. I think I've got probably, oh, about 16 miles in. I'm looking to do 26 today. There's a couple of camping options around that distance. So it's been a nice day. Sunny, gets cool in the shade, hot when you're in the sun. There's a gopher tortoise. He's a quick little guy. All right, it's about uh, 4.45, and I've got three more miles to go. I'm gonna be camping in a state park tonight. So, um, I think it's gonna be 26 miles today when I get to it, so. Um, yeah, so over half the distance I needed to get to for 301. But it's been a great day of hiking, I just sorta been able to not take it easy but not really push myself either so it's worked out pretty good compared to yesterday where I was pushing all day long to get that day in so but today with some road walking in there some of the miles came pretty easy so but anyway uh all's good it's going to be another cold night I think it's supposed to get down to I think they're calling for right at 40 so be fine but a little chilly and then tomorrow it's supposed to warm up a little bit, mid 70s, I think. So anyway, uh, back at camp here if I can. Well, here's my setup for tonight at Goldhead Branch State Park. So back in the morning. All right, good morning, Thursday, February 8th, and the sun is getting ready to come up. I'm a little later than normal leaving camp this morning, but I uh, only have right at 20 miles to get to Route 301, which will be where I'll finish uh, this section of the hike. So anyway, looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be a little warmer today in the 70s. So that'll be something new for us. So <laughs> back in a few. All right, just uh, went by the park office and uh, paid for my site last night, $21. So, you know, not bad, I guess, for everything. But uh, they were super nice in there and it was great of them to let me arrive late last night and stop by this morning to pay. That was really cool. Look at those turkeys, they haven't seen me yet. Life of a homeless hiker, sitting out beside of a Circle K, coffee, a couple of sandwiches, some chips, and Gatorade. Well, I'm on the road here, but again for today, I also made a slight miscalculation. I have like 23 miles today, not 20. So, 
it's turning into more like a regular hiking day for me, but no worries. Yeah, just walking this beautiful country road. Doesn't look like Florida, does it? Little rolling hills. Looks more like Kentucky. Look at this, my second gas station of the day. Well, today we've gone from trail to road walk to trail to bike path. So, <laughs> and I'm okay with the bike path. I can make three and a half miles per hour easy on a bike path, so pretty fast hiking. Anyway, it's going well, it's about one o'clock. Back later. Now those are some of the biggest cypress trees that I've seen since the swamp. Pretty decent size. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this section here. I got just like a mile or so to go to uh, where I'm gonna get off trail for a little bit here. So um, yeah, just sort of uh, getting off at mile 547. And if I take the 231 that I already did up north, that puts me at like 778 miles completed of, uh, I believe the trail's officially 1108. So I'll have about uh, 330 miles left to go. So anyway, so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna take off, but uh, a week or two here and uh, long, hopefully it doesn't rain anymore and uh, the next section will stay dry for me because there's a couple of really cool spots that I want to see in the next section along the Suwannee River and also um, Bradwell Bay uh, are both prone to flooding, and they're, but they're very pretty sections I want to make sure I do. So anyway, uh, back soon.